So here we go again, another Premier League season kicks off tonight at Burnley. Well, before I got to Turf Moor, I thought I'd pop down here and just take it all in again. The three trophies that City won last season, the treble. And that's the Champions League, of course, the FA Cup. But the one Pep says is the most important is always the Premier League, uh, the one that's played over 38 league games. And of course, it starts with Burnley away tonight and Vincent Company's side. So will City get off to a flyer? Let's find out. Well, it's clearly a special game as the Premier League opener because A, it's the first game of the new Premier League season. It's Vincent Company against Pep Guardiola. It's a newly promoted team against the treble champions. But it's also special for me because I wrote a book with Vincent Company called treble triumph which was about the domestic treble which I argued was the quadruple because they won the community shield that year as well so um, this is the book so the big question is who comes out on top tonight the city get into gear straight away possibly without Ruben Diaz or is it uh, Burnley who hit the ground running back in the Premier League only time will tell but a uh, short time ago I uh, bumped into Paul Lake the one and only Paul Lake the Manchester City legend and asked him his thoughts. So here we are again, new season, and it starts with Vinny against City. Extra special game. Yeah, it will be cheesy. It's going to be a tough game, as we can uh, we can expect. Obviously, there's no real pressure on Burnley, you would suggest, but that's not how Vinny's going to see it. You know, he'll want to set a marker down straight away. You know how exciting they play. Uh, the style of football will complement playing against us. Uh, whether they go toe to toe remains to be seen. The quality of the players. We always tend to be generally slow starters in the Premier League, um, so it might be a great time for them. Obviously, we've got players that are settling in, but they've got players settling in, but it's always going to be a great atmosphere in a smaller, tight ground. What a brilliant opportunity. Great night for football. What could be better? You have a connection to Burnley, don't you? Well, I used to work there years and years and years ago as a physiotherapist, uh, and I've always kept an eye on them and wished them well, especially with Vinny, Craig Bellamy, Mark Sartori is here as well from the sports therapy team who's a top top guy so they've got a lot of um, you know city favorites that are actually working at Burnley but I'm sure uh, once those hands are shut before the game starts they'll want City to uh, to, to come a cropper and, and obviously with Burnley as I say it, it's a opportunity for them to really show the Premier League that they're not a team that's going to be fleeting they're here to stay it sounds like there'll be no Ruben Diaz, is that a worry? Um, not a worry, no, I wouldn't say. Not with the players that we've got on the rotation that's already in place. We know that we have that rhythm, that most players can drop into that rhythm. If Ake is going to start tonight as well, but even with the with Gradi or the kind of player that he is, who knows, he may even step in. But one thing we know is that none of us can really guess what the team's going to be. We know what Pep's like. We know if, if KDB is going to start, you know, is, is he able to? Um, then we've got Newcastle next, so there's lots of plans afoot. But this is a well-trodden path for us, a well-trodden path for Pep Guardiola, and I'm sure he's going to relish the chance of not only hopefully trying to retain the title, but in the process, maybe setting the history books ablaze with something new for Manchester City. Happy new season. Happy new season. So you've just had your picture taken with the three trophies. What does that feel? I know it wasn't the real three ones. Uh, quite ever. Quite ever. Yeah, quite ever. Yeah. Are you expecting the same this season? Uh, I'll take two. You take two. I'll take two. <laughs> Champions League, Premier League. I'm happy with that. This is a tough start, though, isn't it? Uh, four 0 City. Oh, you're really that confident? Four 0 City, Ireland that trick. Captain of my dream team. You're here first. So, are they going to repeat it? Absolutely, mate. That, that game I played as a kid, four in a row. That's what I want. I want it in real life, now, Ian. Um, I want to. I want to see four Premier League trophies, one after the other, in a line, and for us to be able to say that we we did that. We did what nobody else has ever done before. Last year we did what they did and better. I said that that's what I wanted. We managed to do that in the end, and I think that to do what we did a couple of years back and win the domestic treble, and then the real treble, as everybody calls it. And then going win four in a row next season for me would just be phenomenal. It's I, I saw, no danger was getting two entitled. No, not for me. I think because I saw, I saw you say at the weekend that, that some fans have, have, have potentially now, and I obviously you said with Kevin on the podcast as well, that some fans have probably said they've seen it all now. And I think that 
for me, if it all if it all disappeared now, it wouldn't change whether I was a blue or not. Um, but the fact we've seen it is phenomenal, and I think the fact that we battled through the charges and all the vitriol that's, that's that's come our way and, and won it all at at the the, the, the mercy of everybody else um, that was throwing all battles, I think that makes it even more special. But it's a new season. We've got to go again. Um, without being entitled, nothing is a given. I do think we'll win the league. I might sound contradictory, but it all starts here. Uh, difficult side, Burnley. It's not going to be a 6 0 thrashing like the Cup game was last year. Um, I think he's going to have them well drilled. They've made a couple of additions themselves. Good side. I think they'll finish top 10, Burnley, as well uh, this season. I think they'll do exactly what Wolves did and finish top 10 in the first season back in the Prem. Um, and, and I hope it's a, a good game of football tonight. And I hope we see. Vinny's side play quite well against us, but I think we will win. I think we'll win 3-1 and we'll start the season flying and, and go all the way again. Very excited. Uh, the, the end to the season last year was mentally draining, but I don't think it can ever be beaten unless we do it again. You just told me that... Uh, yes, a basic, Claire. Behind there, there's three uh, fake trophies, obviously. Yeah, the fake trophies. It's a scouser as well, They're cleaning up. But basic, Claire, come to surf more all the time. They weren't here last year, but I always come to the cricket club. And this guy has come here with a trophy, Scouser, wounded it's not a man that's cleaning up. And now it's made it proper real. So I've got my, uh, got my little girls uh, picture with the trophies. But yeah, it's banging, isn't it? It's great being a blue, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm a big time. Well, she's from Burnley. That's me missing his mum. Right, so we've ditched the kids, we've let them out for an hour before the carnage uh, starts. And, uh, yeah, the season's there and it's mega. You confident tonight? Yeah, very. I love Vinny, but I'm very confident, yeah. Very. I'm very confident about the whole league and everything. They always am, but trusting Pep, get Paqueta in. I think, I think it's weird after him because he's going to be special and Pep can make him more special. So, yeah, I love it. And I can't wait for the season. And I've been chomping it a bit, only for about three weeks. So, it took me a bit to get over uh, the end of last season. It's good though, isn't it? <laughs> it can't be beat, can it, surely? I'm nervous, me. I hope it will win. Um, I don't know. Just a bit of a. We're gonna have a bit of a drop off this season. Um, I mean, we've done it now. Treble winners, champions, and I don't know. I just think I think we might lose this one up. You've been looking at statistics as well, haven't you? Yeah. So I think Burnley have won. Every time they've come up, they've beaten the champions of England. So. It's a bad one to throw in that one. <laughs> Surely it's not going to happen tonight, though. I don't know. Uh, Kevin looked off it when he came on uh, on the weekend. Uh, yeah, again, I'm just as nervous. It's a city feeling. I'm born into it, so yeah. I'm a bit worried. I feel like I might get, might get beat, maybe a draw. I, I'm not. I'm not confident. Not confident. I think Vinny's going to do one on us. Well, big thank you to M&M Artwork and Mirrors and also MotoringOffenseLawyers.com as well as Timson, of course, for their support. But here we are, the way in now, Burnley against City. How's the season going to kick off? Start to the season. Um, I would have played the clean sheet before the game, so I'm happy. Ready for Wednesday now. Um, great team performance. Great some players on rest. I was a bit surprised that um, we won the last game, but it's a good season for Sogan. Say what, Teresa? 
we've come a long way, haven't we? We've come a long way. I know you for a long time and all that lot. I tell you what, after Istanbul, that was unbelievable. We're marching on together. Cheers, Caesar. Cheers, Kit. Always do well at Burnley. After a great summer off, we're back where we belong. Top, we'll stay top. Did it with style as well, didn't they? Not in the top game. Yeah. And also in one game. The will with the sound. Amazing. Can we talk about country? Of course we can. Last one's on it, sadly. That's a good man mistake. We didn't. Rodri is the man, mate. Scored in Istanbul, scores against the same man of the match today as well, eh? 100%, mate. Ireland, like Ireland does what he does, he scores and goals. Rodri, man, he's the boy. He's got that raw talent. He's got more than the Harlem spirit, mate. He's the man. I'm telling you. Yeah, come and see us result there tonight, Ian. 3-0, probably thought 2-3-0. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely expected. Uh, super performance. Last the never, ne again, never worried about a chance on goal. Um, championship, the first step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I did. Well, great results tonight, you know what I mean? Because obviously, every team we want to battle this season. Europe, everything. Because we're, we are the number one team in the world now. Even though we haven't won the World Cup Championship, we're the number one team in the world. And things, every team what I beat us all the time, so we've got to be on our guard. So it's like a put in mind of every single game now. It's a great win tonight, especially if we really put because it's not an easy push goal to be. Were you worried you know, before the game, because it had been Vinny and everything? What's that, sorry? Were you worried before the game, because it was Vinny and everything, oh, no, wasn't no, it? No, 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 people always ask me, right? I work well, well, what's going to sit with me? They always say 6-0, I always say 6-0 to the world. They all sort of look at me, so fly ball, it's going to be nice to sit Sometimes it happens. You must be very proud of him because he's He's been a great player for City, hasn't he? I'm really proud of him and he loves City. He loves City. Does that mean he's going to stay? Has he given you any insight? I, I can tell you that. That's probably, yeah. Probably. Yeah. I can tell you that. He's a great, great player though, isn't he? He is. He is. What's the proudest moment you've had watching him then? Uh, in, in Monaco, when he, when he won the French Championship. But he loves City and he's going to stay. Yeah, thank you. Great new season, good start to the season. <laughs> Great start to the season that. Defence looked rock solid even with the changes. All that, that team, that team still looked like Guardiola had explained to them before we went out and they all knew the job. And that is a genius of Guardiola. Brilliant. Great win. What a time to be a City fan, Ian. As you always say, can't be it, always be a blue. What a great start then here at Burnley, um, convincing victory, lots of energy from that team. Anybody that was questioning the commitment after winning the treble, even Pep in a way was sort of saying, will they still have that drive? We've proven that they do have that drive. Played a newly promoted team, a Vincent Cooney team, on their own patch, only day of the season is never easy, but to a certain extent, I wouldn't say they made it look easy, but they certainly showed that they were the better team. Uh, thanks very much, of course, for watching as ever. We'll be doing a podcast um, with Gary Owen as our special guest this week. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you'll be watching that, listening to it. And if you're out in Greece, come and say hello to me. I'll be out there next week for the Super Cup. Uh, remember, it's, it's great to be a blue, isn't it?